I thought I would tell everybody about how I learned to stop worrying because I don't worry anymore. I just realized like I really just don't worry and it's a process. It's something that I just started, uh, I learned to do. Uh, and so here's what I do and it's actually really simple. So I invite you to try it. So here's what I do. First of all, I think to myself, I'm worried about something, whatever the thing is. Okay. And then the next thing is I put it through a little flow chart. Say, can I do something about this? Yes or no. If the answer is yes, then it's what can I do? So I list a bunch of things that I could do, however many things I could do. I make a little list. Okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, and I can do this. Because you know what? Action is empowering. Because what is worry? Worry is feeling like you're out of control. Like it's, in fact, the opposite of worry is confidence. Think about it. If you're confident that you've got this, you can't be worried about it. You just aren't. You're fine. So that's about feeling in control. So if I say to myself, what can I do? And I come up with some action steps, then I am in control of certain aspects of, of you know, the thing, changing the thing that I'm worried about. And that's empowering. So that takes away worry right there. Starting to do things. Okay. Coming up with steps to do and then starting to work on them or deciding even when I'm going to work on them. Okay. I'm going to do this one tomorrow and this one on Wednesday or whatever. That is empowering. Empowering. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Chris. So then, okay. Suppose the answer is no. So remember, I take my worry and I put it through a, a test. I say to myself, can I do something about this? And if the answer is yes, I say, what can I do? And I come up with steps. But if the answer is no, I can't do anything about this. Well, at this point, there's not like a whole lot of reason to worry about it because there's nothing I can do. So at this point, I can hand it off. Who do I hand it off to? I hand it off to my guides and angels. And I just say, okay, take this and fix it. Do something about it. You can hand it off to whatever higher power makes sense to you. Just hand it off. Say, all right, there's nothing I can do, so there's no point in me worrying about it, but when there's something I can do, I will, and you just hand it off. <clears throat> so that is part one of how not to worry. Part two is when I have the opposite problem. That problem is I have so many things that I could be doing, I don't know what I should do. So I think to myself, I'm worried about what should I do? What's the best thing for me to do right now? Because there's so many things that I could do and I don't know which is best. So when that is the case, I do something different and here's what I do. Hi, Randy. So here's what I do. <clears throat> I sit down. Hi, Joanne. And I quiet myself. Hi, Joe. I, I take five minutes and I kind of meditate. I just try to just lower the volume of the thoughts going through my mind, which takes about five minutes at least for me because... I got a lot going on all the time up there. So I take five minutes and I sort of, you know, do whatever kind of meditation I can in five minutes. I just quiet down. And then, and I have a pad of paper with me and a pen. And at the top of the page, I write, give me guidance. Or if I have a specific question, I write that. What should I do first? And then I just write. I just write whatever flows out of the pen without a lot of censorship. And hi, Dee Dee. And without... Um, and without, you know, trying to intellectualize, what am I writing? How do I spell this? I don't focus on that. I just write. I write as fast as I can without thinking very much. And I let it flow until I'm done. And the last time I did this was a couple of days ago and I filled up three pages. So, okay. Then I was like, I felt like I was done. And I went back and I read those pages. And from, hi Liz, from those pages, I had, <clears throat> I found like four action steps which goes back to things I can do. I found four things that were actually kind of valuable that I could do. So that takes me back to empowered again. Things that I can do with like good advice to myself. And that's what I got by doing that. So those are the two things that I do that made me stop worrying. <clears throat> I just don't worry anymore. Because if there's something I can do, I have no worries because action 
Trump's worrying, and please excuse my use of that word because it was only intended to mean it overcomes worry. Okay, action overcomes worry. Hi, Michelle. But, um, but uh, feeling like there's nothing you can do is something you can just, if there's nothing you can do, you can hand it off, okay? And handing it off is actually, number one, empowering because it's giving you something to do with saying, okay, I'm going to put this to the side. Even if it just means you're putting it on the back burner, saying there's nothing I can do right now, but when there is, I will. Hi, Kim. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so, so there's no need to worry because, remember, confidence is the opposite of worry, and confidence can be as little as I've got this or here's what I'm going to do right now, and that you can't exist at the same time as worry. So there it is. It's the formula for getting rid of worries and um, please try it and then let me know how that goes for you anybody have any comments <laughs> if so go ahead and put them in and um, this has just been a little moment of advice that I felt like sharing tonight while I'm sitting outside on my porch on this beautiful evening love to all